Port Merion in Gwynedd in North Wales. It's quite famous actually, you might recognise it. It was the location that they used to film The Prisoner. Remember the cult TV series with Patrick McGowan? Well, today we're here to meet another kind of film star, but I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Now the village was designed and built by Sir William Clough Ellis and he was a guy who was passionate about style, especially Italian style as you can see. That's why I think he would have loved this film star. It's Volkswagen Carmen Gear, engineered by Germans but designed with a particularly Italian flavour. It's been in lots of films, that's why I call it a film star. It was in The Rock with Sean Connery, there was one in Sneakers with Robert Redford and Demi Mordra drove one in Now and Then. But we're here today in Port Merion to talk to the Carmen Gear Owners Club of Great Britain. So let's find out what they're up to. Sitting beside me here in the Carmen Gear is Derek Froh, who's the chairman of the Carmen Gear Owners Club of Great Britain. Derek, uh, how long have you been chairman of the club now? Uh, about three years, I think. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And how long has the club been in existence? It started in uh, 1982. Yeah? And this is your, presumably, your annual get together. That's right. What's brought you to Port Merion? Well, we have an annual do, annual international meeting we call it, every year, and it depends on who's prepared to put it on and where they live, mm -hmm. they'll do it around their area. Right, so where have you been in, in, in past years? In well, last year in Essex, Hawkehurst, we've had a couple of years in Bath, we've been in Lincoln, we've been a number of places. Yeah, and this year you're in, you're in Wales, That's right. in Port Merion. Mm -hmm. It's a very fitting setting for a, a calm gear, don't you think? Very true, it's uh, yeah. the sort of Italian designs of both things are very appropriate. Yeah. How did you first become in, involved or interested in, in Carmen Gears? Well, personally, I've always liked air-cooled VWs, it's rather water-cooled. And um, one year I saw these cars in a show. They struck me as being particularly beautiful, sort of timeless design. And I thought, right, I'd like to have one. Mm -hmm. So we worked towards that and went on from there. And you say it went on from there, because <laughs> you've actually got how many now? Uh, we've now got three. Yeah. Uh, another one which is um, a convertible, a coupe, and we're restoring a Type 3, which is one with four headlights, a mm -hmm. different, different profile. Yeah, which is your favourite? Very difficult to say, because I think they've all got uh, scoring points. Um, my wife particularly likes coupe as being firm, solid and watertight. Yeah. I quite like the convertible as being something you can put the roof down. Yeah. And um, the Type 3 is a bigger, OK, we've got William and Jan here from Holland. I'm not even going to try and pronounce your surname. Say it for me. Sestronk. Sestronk, is yes, that right? Yes. Yeah. And what was yours? Kiebert. Kiebert. Oh, well, I'm doing very well. <laughs> On to things I know a bit more about. What about your Carmen gear? How long have you had this? About two and a half years. Yeah? yeah? And have you done a lot of the restoration yourself? Not all done by myself, but a yeah. uh, few things, little things. Uh, the paint, I uh, go to somebody else, but uh, yes, I, uh, I did uh, many things yeah. to make it beautiful, uh, mm -hmm. to look it better. What, uh, what, year, what, what year does this date from? 1961. So it's quite an early one? Quite early. Yeah. There is a type uh, before, yeah. only it's uh, difficult to get one right. because there are less of them. Yeah, because they, they had 19 years of, of production, didn't they? They started in 1955. Exactly. Yeah. So it's quite, it's yeah. finished in 74, so it's 74, quite an early that's right, one. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what, uh, what marks it out as different from the early, one, the early ones? How do you how The do you early ones. The early yeah. ones has a little uh, air uh, yeah. hole in the front and the this is different. Yeah. Smaller. Mm -hmm. You've got. Smaller I noticed that you've got the uh, the domed hubcaps on this on this model, yeah. which yeah. are much nicer. Yeah. It's nicer. They? Yeah. It's, it's different. The the size of the wheels is uh, one inch bigger. Yeah. And they need another hood uh, on it. Yeah. And what about the interior? Tell us a bit about that because it's it's quite special, isn't it? The way that you've restored it. Uh, special on the interior is I didn't restore it. Yeah. <laughs> It's original and it is a special colour. It is a sea blue colour. Yeah. It's not white. Mostly they are white or black. But yeah. this is sea blue colour. I, I looked it up. It's, it is an original colour. Right. First I thought they sprayed it in that yeah. colour, but it isn't. It so is you're original. delighted to find that yeah, you did yeah, have yeah, to restore yeah. it. Excellent. Yeah. 
I'm sitting in John Plater's uh, Carmen gear. It's a 1964 model, but I want John to tell me all about the inside. Um, it's a beautiful uh, dash that you've got here on this mm -hmm. on this Carmen gear. Have you done a lot to it, John? Yeah, quite a lot. The um, the whole car has been stripped down and, and repainted over the years, but um, yeah, that modified the the inside a little. Yeah. By ex excluding parts rather than putting them in. Right. Um, just that I prefer the look of the earlier cars, which have got a painted dashboard and, and dash top. It's interesting to see this uh, the little radio and things like that. Are they are they are from the original? It is of the original period. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the ashtray. The ashtray is yeah. really cute. Yeah. That is brilliant. That is. So I suppose it's the detail really that uh, that attracts yeah, people yeah. to them. Yeah. There's lots of little details. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what about the steering wheel? Is that the original? That as would. Well? Have, that's the original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is actually the, the the wheel that came with the car. So I'm assuming it's it's from yeah. 1964. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I noticed that yours yours has got a um, a petrol gauge because mm -hmm. some of the early ones. The very early ones. Yeah. No, they, they just just had a reserve tap. And you ran out of fuel. Flick the tap and carry on yeah. hopefully yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah but you never really knew how much petrol you had in so yeah. it was just luck really mm -hmm. rather than judgment but they they all ca came with the the clock on one side and the yeah, yeah and speed the speedometer I side, noticed yeah. that you've you've added a, a rev counter down a rev there counter, that's yeah. obviously not original is it no I've got a, a slightly non-original engine in the back which uh, yeah. makes it go a little faster it just keeps me in touch with what's going on behind a bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's uh, there's remote uh, openings as well for the for the bonnet, aren't yep, there? Where yep. are they? Bonnets just underneath here yeah. by the steering column. Yeah. And for the rear lid, which is just down here by the side of the seat. This is Helmut Mike, who's come all the way from Germany with his Carmen gear. It's a 1972 model, is that right? Quite right, yes. What, what, what's actually what were the differences between the later models and the earlier models? Well, the later models uh, got some modifications. Um, in the way that uh, the Type 3, which was uh, a different car made by, by Volkswagen, had uh, the same uh, rear tail lights, uh, the same bumpers, and mm -hmm. you can find the same bumpers on the, Carmen, on the late Carmen gears mm -hmm. as well. Right. Now I know you've made a lot of you've made lots of modifications to your particular yes, car. Yes, because I, I didn't like the car as it was in standard. Yeah. Uh, so I made some modifications, uh, which yeah. I liked. Some people don't, but yeah. I paid it, and I made it myself, so people yeah. should be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's, it's that's quite. Well, yeah. Tell them to shut up. Yeah. What about the grill at the front? Tell us about that. Yeah, so the grill was an extra you could have from uh, accessory shops. It was never done by Carmen uh, itself, um, but this is a remake of an or original yeah. in, in, in brakes. Yeah. <laughs> And um, somebody made me a mould and uh, made it from, from aluminium and I've polished it and um, so after polishing it, it wa was chromed yeah. to avoid uh, corrosion. Uh -huh. so. mm. you, I know you, you've replaced the badge in, inside the steering wheel as well, haven't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the steering wheel is, was made for Carmen, which I knew, but it had a centre logo uh, with a blue background and um, showing a coach in the centre. Yeah. And I didn't know that this was the first logo Carmen ever had. Right. So I threw it away. <laughs> and after knowing it, so I was a bit sad. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I knew it. I knew I wouldn't get away with the whole day without it raining. So we're in the rain now. <laughs> I'm talking to Mark Poulton from Chester, who's, um, your comic is a little bit different from most of the others here today. It's a uh, Type 3. Type 3, yes. The uh, Germans and Continentals tend to call it a Type 34, but in this country we've reserved the nomenclature of Type 3, just sort of to keep it uh, simple in that sense. Yeah. What's the difference? Difference, basically, later styling, more American influenced, four headlamp front, and basically used the then relatively new Type 3 engine with twin carburettors and a crankshaft mounted cooling fan, rather than the upright version as in the Type 1 Carmen gear. Well, at least the last of the Carmen gears for today. They're just leaving, and I think it's just about time we did too. As they say on sports programmes, rain stopped play.